The last two tabs in our product single page are reviews and change log, and they pretty much speak for themselves. So let's begin. For the reviews tab, let's go ahead and duplicate this artboard because we already have a bunch of elements that are common and we'll rename this to reviews tab. All right, the first thing we got to change here is some of these elements. So this is no longer active. This will be active. And let's also move this uh, indicator here. Make it 77 in width. Okay. And then this uh, text here will uh, actually be replaced with a title H4 left. So let's actually copy this or just move it on the top and move this on the bottom. Let's see, 30 pixels. Okay, we don't need these anymore, so let's uh, get rid of them. And the title should say customer rating. And here we just have um, a description text and we're gonna say something like fireworks has a, let's say 4.9 average rating based on let's say 25 reviews. And we'll make this into bold and we'll make this into bold. Okay, let's uh, resize this bit. And on the right side, uh, we'll actually need to add a couple of star icons to represent the review. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy those icons from Font Awesome. Again, you can use your own from any font that you want. Or you can simply uh, draw them using the, uh, let's see how it's called, shape star tool in Sketch. All right, so I have uh, five stars here. I'm gonna align these stars with the end of the text so they match like that and also align it with the uh, text here. And this is inside a group called large rating. Now this is the description basically. Now we actually have to display the ratings. For that, let's start with the rating author. For example, James. And we'll use TISA Pro, let's use bold. The text color, 20 pixels, perfect. We'll align it like this and then we got to put the date of the review and also the actual rating. So the date, we're just going to copy this bit. And let's say yesterday. <clears throat> well, yesterday should be regular italic, 20 pixels and muted text color. And finally, we need to have uh, the actual uh, review the, the actual rating, excuse me. And for that, we need something similar to what we have here, only smaller, something like this. So let's uh, group these two, move them to the right so that they match our grid here. All right, perfect. And then we'll need a separator, a line basically. And we'll go from here to here. So 555 five, five in length. Of course, we'll use 30 pixels distance. And for border, we're going to use the light border color. And then we need the actual review. For that, we need a text that's 555. Align it properly. And then the text should be TISA Pro regular italic 20. So let's create some reviews with this format. So we have one like this and we can group this as review and we can duplicate it and create other reviews. Something like this. Now we need to resize things a little bit here because we don't have enough room. And because we might have a lot of reviews, it makes sense that we use a pagination control. And for that, we'll uh, simply go to one of these pages, for example, shop index, grab the pagination and 
paste it in, align it in the center, and then we'll do about 90 pixels margin top, and then we'll bring in the navigation here, then bring up the similar themes, resize this back, bring up the footer, and we are done. So this is the reviews tab. Now, finally, for our uh, change log, let's uh, duplicate this reviews. We'll rename it to change log tab, tab inactive, tab active here. It's uh, the same drill as before. Uh, we don't actually need a lot of this stuff. So we'll, we'll just keep one review and you'll see why. We don't need the rating here. Uh, here, we're basically saying version 1.3. Here, we're replacing this with the release date of that version. So let's say June 11, 2015. Uh, we're going to move this back. This will be change log. And we're going to just move this down a little bit because we need to make this bigger in order to put in some text in here. So for the text, I'm going to copy this. And for the actual font, I'm going to use something, uh, a font called Source Code Pro. You can also find it on Typekit. And we'll be using 16 pixels for it regular. The color stays exactly the same. But the difference is, we're going to make the width 30 pixels smaller. And we're going to push this text to the right 30 pixels just like this. Now let's put in some change log items. All right. So this is how a change log basically looks like. Let's just resize this um, container here. And here, this is actually the latest version, version 1.3. On the previous versions, we can make them smaller by using a format similar to this. So first of all, we don't need the pagination here. So let's get rid of that. Well, we don't need the rating. What we do need here is the version. So in this case is version 1.2. And this is the version release date. So let's say, I don't know, July 12th, 2014, just a, a date. And in here, we're going to do the same, we're going to make this 30 pixels minus on the width and push it to the right by 30 pixels. And then simply paste then some, um, some change log items, just a couple like this. And then let's create version 1.1, just to see how we can space these properly. And we'll use about 60 pixels here of space. And now just the regular drill of uh, realigning everything and the footer. And that's it. So with this, we've actually completed uh, the three tabs of the theme single page, right? We have the description tab, we have the reviews tab, and we have the change log tab. All right, we've completed the product single page. Now, since we're on the topic of shop related pages, let's go ahead and create the cart that's coming up next.